Good afternoon. This is Sharon from the House of Prayer. God's plans will be accomplished. Some politicians are pressing hard to get President Trump completely discredited and out of the way as quickly as possible and permanently as they can. The media is spending lives and operating completely in tandem with them, manipulating their minds of millions of Americans. Social media moguls are rapidly shutting down the voices of many who disagree with them politically while allowing the falsehoods of all kinds to filtrate their platforms. It would be astonishing if we did not understand the spiritual realm and how spirits of darkness work. The enemy has sent a storm of anger and misinformation against America, but we who know the Lord will open our mouths and oppose it. Something is about to happen of incredible, shocking proportions, and they're being made. God chose his time to release Michael, one of the highest-ranking angels to D.C. He is a war angel. Michael is God's strongest, most powerful angel, and he is in charge of what happens there in D.C. now. Michael, God's angel, would take everything to another level. God will not need, God will not be stopped. He will not be defeated. Understand this, Galatians 6, 7, do not be deceived. God is God and cannot be mocked. A man reaps what he sows. The Lord is watching all of this. He is not nervous, nor is he uncertain. He will protect the honor of his name, which his enemies have mocked. When he steps, <coughs> I'm sorry, when he steps into this situation, the fear of the Lord will be tangible. Those operating in the power of evil, one will be suddenly cast down. Every deceitful act will be exposed. There was See, it is God that acted against them. He will remove them in disgrace from the pinnacles of the mountains that they have risen through the scheming. Those who look defeated will suddenly rise and take their places, and it will happen suddenly. God is not protecting a man. He is not protecting a political party. He is protecting his covenant with his and his plans for America. He is protecting the innocent ones. God will step through this power and prevailing kingdom purpose to get things where they are supposed to be. He is able to take those he has called anointed, both in the civil and spiritual realm, through the, these storming times and into their assignments. He will do all this for his unfolding kingdom purpose. Jim Hodges decreed over the praying church, we say to the ship or the ecclesia yeah, of God, be steady today. We say to the ship of state, which is our nation, get ready for the people of God to come forth as a scale they have not moved in since the nation's founding. These will turn to the nation towards victory that has been prophesied over and over again. It is time. Psalms 36, 1 through 4. I have a message from God in my heart concerning the sinfulness of the wicked. There is no fear of God before their eyes. In their own eyes, they flatter themselves too much to defeat or hate their sin. The words of their mouths are wicked and deceitful. They fail to act wisely or do good. Even on their beds, they plot evil. They commit themselves to a sinful course and do not reject what is wrong. Go before the Lord today. And before your prayer time, remove any anger or hatred out of your heart so that you can hear him clearly and pray with righteousness authority. 
ask the Lord to rise up in the fullness of his majesty and judge with righteousness the evil occupying America's government today. Worship him in holiness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord.